While walking around Gamescom, in between interviews, I stumbled across the Bohemia Interactive booth where they were showing off their upcoming game Armour 3. Like any good journalist would, I blagged my way in to get an off-the-cuff interview about Daisy instead, with Bohemia Interactive CEO Marek Spanel. The sound quality and the framing are a bit poop because it was filmed on the rush, but the info for Daisy fans is spot on. So keep watching for big news about the upcoming dog update and what we can expect from the standalone version of Daisy. You're demoing some uh, some new updates for Daisy. Uh, just in one of them, uh, the Alsatian. Can you tell us a little bit about what the Alsatian will. Uh so in the future update of the Daisy mod, you are going to be able to uh, find and adopt a dog. So he then becomes your new companion. Then the dog can help you with surviving. So he most of first of all can warn you from some bad guys or incoming threats. But as well, you can use the dog to track track animals that you need for food. So there is none in proximity, so he's not really able to track it here. But we can go closer to a forest, and hopefully we can show something. There are infected everywhere. <laughs> Hope we survive. So you can ask the dog, for example, to stay somewhere. So I order the dog to stay. Now, oh yeah, they already found me. So <laughs> well, I guess it's not turning out very well. So, so is it just uh, will it just be an Alsatian, or are you? At the moment, yes, but there may be some more ones later on. We at this stage focus mostly on the game mechanics of, of the dog. So do you have any more updates planned for the game in the next update? Any, uh, like the dog, any significant updates? I think the dog is really the main one, so there are some more, but we as well started work on Daisy's standalone game, which we want to be out literally as soon as possible. So our goal is to ensure it's uh, easy to install, easy to get into, while still full, full proper survival experience where you can generate your stories. So the standalone game, will it still be set in the same area? Or you yeah, yeah. It's, it's set in the same area, but it's going to bring several improvements. Uh, most notably, probably the much more enterable buildings and some really fresh new new areas as well as uh, some improvements in some visuals and stuff like this so it's like generally an improved version of the same map we call it Cherners Plus it's going to be the initial basis I'm afraid this is not going to end up well <laughs> so um, I'm compromised and I have no ammo I lost the dog already and oh you lost the dog already yeah so <laughs> it's not looking well <laughs> So, I, I've played it quite a few times, I'm not very good at it, and I've only ever managed to find one vehicle. In the standalone version, will, be them, will there be more vehicles, more frequent, or is it still be well, a case of...? I think the vehicles should be really very rare, mm -hmm. so there is no plan to overload the game with many, many vehicles. So he, especially, initially, there is no plan to dramatically change the experience in the standalone, so it's going to be nearly the same gameplay. The key factors are making it more stable, more accessible, smoother. There's, at the moment, a lot of things users have to do in order to play. Daisy is installing two games, ideally PMC downloadable content and updating it all, usually installing a beta patch, installing the mod. So this all this is kind of number one to get this addressed, and number two is overall reliability, kind of stability as well security against hacks and cheats in multiplayer. So these are the first steps. Once this is done and out, we can focus on some more. But this is the really groundwork. So uh, will you be introducing new zombies, new zombie models and skins? 
like that's that's not really priority at the moment. It's definitely possible, but there's quite a variety already. Maybe not used all the time, but there's like 20 different types of entities. So. Yeah, as I said, like primary the focus is to get it out as soon as possible, to stabilize it more, and we we hope to adapt something that works really well for Minecraft. So basically, we launch early, a charge very significantly discounted price, and as the game keeps getting bigger and bigger, we eventually may increase the price until it's finished full game.